this room. Oh, you got to take it down there. Yes, ma'am. You have to take it down there. Yeah, it just need to make the. Oh. Who, who, is, who, is, who is up? Who is up? Who is up? You got your thing on. Make sure that um, they, they can hear me. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you all hear me? I'm going to make sure this time. Can y'all hear me? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's about, what, 12 something here in California. Yeah. Um, our flight leaves about 1 something. And we arrive at uh, 6 a.m. in Texas. Hello. Hello. How are you all? I'll wait till some more people. Oh, my God. Morning. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. New York. Good morning, New York. Good morning, New York. Good morning, Lisa. Wow. Let's see if a few more people are coming. Good morning. David Roberts. Good morning. Good morning. You all are up. Wow. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Las Vegas. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing this morning? We are getting ready to head to Texas and do our um, kingdom assignment. We thank God for everybody. We thank God for everybody that's tuning in. Wow. Let me switch hands. Hand kind of hurting over here. Customer Pacheco, is your podium, please? Wow. Well, the impartation is going to be awesome today. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning, Jacksonville, Florida is in the house. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, we are about to board. Can they hear me, Sister Katrina? Yeah. You sure? Yes, ma'am, I can hear you. You can hear me, you, but you sit right next to me. Oh. I need to make sure they can hear me. Because I don't want it to be, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know you can hear me. I need to know that you can hear me. David Roberts, Good morning David from Alabama. Roberts, she is here at Podium 409. South Carolina, good morning. Good morning, yes. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, good, good. I, I, I can't have what we had last time. She said it's a little low. It's a little low. Y'all want me to holler? That's my team. They want me to holler. Good morning. Good morning. Jackson, Mississippi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, y'all watch. Y'all watch my stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, good morning. We do welcome you to American good Airlines morning. Flight 237 service to Dallas Fort Worth. We are going to begin the boarding cross very shortly. As a reminder, you may carry on board this aircraft. One carry on back. Let and me one get out the way. So I can talk a little louder. Good morning. Everybody seems to be up. What part of Texas? Um, Arlington. Arlington, Texas. We're, we're going to be in Arlington, Texas. Um, if you go to my wall, you can um, find the information of the location. So we will be in Arlington, Texas. We are excited for the impartation. We had an awesome time on last month, and I truly believe that the Spirit of the Lord is going to move this today, really today, because uh, we arrive at 6, get a chance to get ourselves together and then at 11 o'clock we have the intercessors that will go for for intercessory and then about 12 12 30 
we will begin our teaching of impartation. Uh, I thank God for everybody. I thank you all for praying with me, praying for me. I thank you all giving me encouraging words, especially uh, the testimonies that have been coming in from the prayers at 6 a.m. of the weather, the weather forecast. So I'm excited. I thank you. I need to come to Vegas. Not to deliver. Well, you know what? Like I first stated to everybody, just pray and ask the Lord. Accept the spirit of the Lord releases me and give me a word. I, you know, it's not me, it's him. And so I would love to come, but as long as the Lord will release me and um, give me a word for you all. That's by you. Oh, good. Well, if you're not busy, uh, if you can, um, please come by. Come by today, uh, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., we will be at the conference suites like I first stated. Just go to my wall and look at the flyer. It has all the information, and we're going to have a good time. I just wanted to stop in and just send uh, kisses and love out to everybody and to thank everybody. Uh, we are getting ready to get aboard at the airport. And so I want everybody to know that the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. The Spirit of the Lord is moving. He's about to do something so phenomenal in your life. I don't want you, I don't want you to miss what God is doing for you. He's doing great things for you. And just because the enemy may show his head, it does not mean God is not moving for you. You have to realize in this season and in this time that the enemy will try, he will try to get your focus off. Don't let him get your focus off of what God has been telling you. Because the Bible said that the enemy head is supposed to be up under your feet. Are you hearing me? And he will try to bring distractions, but do not allow the distractions to get you off. Know that the Spirit of the Lord is with you. Know that the Spirit of the Lord is working everything out for you. Know that when God spoke a word to you, he cannot lie. Whatever it is he said, he's going to bring that thing to pass. Now watch this. I was just in uh, Texas two weeks ago for the explosion. Well, God opened the door and blessed me with my 300. God is getting ready to do something. He's sending me back to Texas. So I'm believing something powerful is going to happen, not just for me, but for those that are connected with my ministry, those that have been standing in a gap with me, interceding for others. And so I just want you to know, you need not to be worried. You need not to be afraid. You need not to fear anything because God is with you. God is moving for you. God is doing it for you. You know, I'm about to start preaching already. It's just in me. It's just in me. But I want you to know God is getting ready to do it. According to the word of God, the Bible says that by this time tomorrow, watch this. The scripture says prior to the Lord telling the prophet to tell the people that, there was a place that they, it was a great famine. There was nothing coming in. There was nothing going out. Are you listening to me? And But the Lord had a purpose and a plan for the lives of his children. God has a purpose and a plan for your life. He's working everything out for you. The Bible said the prophet says to one of his t uh, uh, students, he said, tell, tell the one that the king leaned, leaned his hand on that, watch this, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, God is getting ready to do something so powerful. But the servant that allowed the king to lay his hand or hand on him didn't even believe that God was able to do. Watch this. He said, if God can make windows in heaven, if God can make windows in heaven, my God from Zion, if God can make windows on earth, windows are already made in heaven. And God can open up whatever window and whatever door. Are you hearing me? To bless you. Watch what the prophet said. You're going to see it, but you will not be able to experience it because you didn't believe that the Lord can watch this do anything but fail i am telling you that the lord can do anything but fail for you i need you to trust god i need you to believe god i need you to just praise god and know by this time tomorrow that god is about to do something now watch scripture because watch what happens 
the Bible said when the prophet spoke that word on the other side of town, the Bible said, here it is, God had four leopards. Four leopards standing at a gate. They know because of their situation, if they went in, they should have been, watch this, killed. <laughs> when God speaks the word, it already goes into motion. It is already in a place with a person that is working everything out for you. The Bible says, I got to keep saying the Bible because we got to trust the word of God. We got to stand on the word of God. The Bible said when the prophet spoke the word, the Lord picked up four lepers on the other side of the town. Are you hearing me? And the, the Lord allowed them to go into the city and to find everything. It was everything that was needed for the people of God. Are you hearing me? What am I saying to us? When God speaks a word to you or me, automatically the word goes in motion. When the word goes in motion, it is already at the designated place. It is already at what we call destiny. Are you hearing me? There is people already, because the four leopards was already in place, the four leopards were already, glory to God, receiving what was going to be for the children of Israel. Are you hearing me? So I just stopped by in this few minutes to, to show you love and to let you know when God spoke that word to you, right then and there, it went into operation. Everybody that is going to play a part in bringing that word to pass is already moving on your behalf. All you have to do is keep trusting God, keep believing God, keep praising God, keep telling God thank you. Because by this time tomorrow, that word is going to find you. By this time tomorrow, the manifest of fold of God is going to find you. By this time tomorrow, the promise of God is going to find you. Are you hearing it? Well, Apostle, if I get into tomorrow and it doesn't happen, then what? Then what? By this time tomorrow. Are you hearing me. It's already tomorrow for you. So you and I need to be in expectation. We need to trust and believe that God is God and that God cannot lie. Are you hearing me? So I come to encourage you. You all that are in Texas that is around the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area, Metroplex area, come, come. There's a great move of God that is about to happen. It's a great move of God that is about to happen at this impartation. And to all those that cannot make it, but yet you want to know if it's going to be streaming live. Yes, it is. And God has blessed because there will be other cameras that's going to be in the house. There's going to be, uh, I'm going to come on and let you know even what channel because we're going to have different people that's going to be there not just camera phones but i mean god is opening up doors i told you he was moving one of one of the young ladies said apostle i'm bringing my business i'm going to take the service for you so i have my camera on and she will be streaming live literally streaming live this is a great move of god so if god is moving for me he's moving for you are you hearing me? We just need to posture ourselves. We need to stand in position like the Lord has told us to and not give in. Okay? Well, guess what? They're calling my number, and I got to go get on my plane to get to Texas. I love everybody. Kisses to everyone. Uh, uh, do not fear no one. Don't fear the enemy. Only fear God. Fear the one that can, can destroy the soul and the body. Okay? I love you. I got to line up. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.